I've had the opportunity to facilitate Excel trainings this past few weeks, and during a class on Power Pivot, I was asked to compare Excel functions to DAX functions for ease of understanding. So in this video, I'll highlight differences between Excel and DAX lookup functions using simple examples. So please give your feedback after watching, okay? I will appreciate it. Thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you. Before we look at the data, I'll quickly highlight two major differences between Excel and DAX formulas. My assumption is that you have some basic understanding of Power Pivot. If not, you can check my playlist on Power Pivot. I'll leave a link below. DAX is a formula language used in Power Pivot and it is similar to Excel functions. Now, the major differences. In Excel, you can reference a cell or a range of cells in your formulas. However, you can only reference a column or a table in DAX formulas. Now, for the most part, DAX requires that you create a relationship between the tables, but Excel doesn't require that, okay? Now, let's look at the data. Here are three tables. The first table shows the quantity sold. It contains duplicate records that need to be summarized. So this is the fact table. The second table shows product details and it contains unique values that are related to the sales table. The third table shows branch details and it contains unique values as well. These are the lookup tables, also known as dimension tables. These tables have also been added to the data model. Let's take a look. Now, the first exercise is to get the prices from the product table and building type from the branch table. I'll use the VLOOKUP function in Excel because it is the most popular lookup function. Lookup value is P01. This is a cell. Remember, you can reference a cell or range of cells. Lookup table is the product table. Press F4 to lock the range. Column number is three. Select false for an exact match. Double click to copy down. Now, instead of creating another column to get the sales value, you can multiply the quantity by the result from the VLOOKUP formula and copy down. I'll change this to sales. Cool. Next, VLOOKUP. Lookup value is the entire brand ID column. This way, I am now referencing a range of cells. Lookup table is the branch table. Press F4 to lock the reference. Column number is 2. Select false for an exact match. Now, when I press enter, VLOOKUP will return multiple results that will spill down because I entered an array formula. An array formula performs calculations on multiple values. Now, if you want to edit or delete the formula, it can only be done in the first cell. If you select another cell in the spill area, the formula will be visible in the formula bar, but there's actually no text in the cells, okay? Let's go to the data model and look at VLOOKUP's equivalent in DAX lookup value and related functions. In a data model, tables are linked by relationships. In the home tab, under view, select diagram view. All the tables are displayed here. I'll connect only the product table to the sales table. Drag product ID to product ID. The product table has unique records that are connected to the sales table. While the sales table has duplicates of the records. So there is a one-to-many relationship between these two. The asterisk indicates the many side. Now, the branch table also has unique records that are connected to the sales table, but I won't create the connection, okay? So back to the exercise, I'll start with the related function. The related function allows you to get data from connected tables to the data model. Quick points about the related function. The syntax requires only one argument, which is a column. That is the column in the related table where you want to retrieve the value. An active relationship must exist between the tables. 
Where there is no relationship, related won't work. You can see that there are no suggestions for the branch table because it is not connected to the sales table. Only the product table fields are visible. Related retrieves data from the one side to the many side. That is, from the product table to the sales table. If you try it on the one side, I'll switch over to the product table now. This is the one side. It won't bring up any suggestions, even though it is connected to the sales table. However, if you have a one-to-one -one relationship between the tables, it will work in that scenario. Related returns a single value for each row. So to retrieve the price of each product, I'll name this column sales. Insert an equal sign, type related, and select the price from the product table. Close the bracket and enter. The entire column gets populated automatically. And just like the previous example, to get the sales value, I'll multiply the quantity by the price returned by the related function. So back in the formula bar, multiplied by quantity. Enter. Cool. Next up is lookup value. Quick point about the lookup value function. It is similar to VLOOKUP in Excel and does not require an active relationship between the tables. Now this implies that it works whether there is a relationship or not. It can be used for multiple conditions and if there is a relationship, you can look up values from the one to many side or many to many sides. Now it searches for a single value. However, if the search returns multiple values, it will return an error or the alternate value supplied in your formula. However, if the value is not found, it will return blank or the alternate result. Let's look at the argument. The first two arguments are referring to columns in the lookup table. The first is the column containing the value to return, building type in the branch table. The second argument is the column to search, branch ID in the branch table. And the third argument is the value you want to search for in the current table, branch ID. The second and third arguments are a pair that can be repeated multiple times when you have multiple criteria. In this example, there's only one criteria. And if needed, you can move to the optional argument, alternate result. In this example, it is not necessary, so I'll skip, close the bracket and enter. Now, to summarize, use lookup value when you cannot create a relationship or if your search is based on multiple columns or criteria. And if your search is based on only one column, create a relationship and use the related function. It is more efficient than lookup value. Let's go back to Excel so we can compare the filter function to the related table function in that. In this example, the goal is to extract and calculate the total quantity sold of each product with the filter function. The filter function is a dynamic array function and it allows you to extract the information you need based on a specified criteria. Filter can return an entire table or a specific column. Now, to extract the sales table for all the records that match product 1, filter, array is the entire table, F4 to lock. The include argument is the array to specify and test the criteria, product. So, where column A, F4 to lock, is equal to product 1 in the current table. The last argument, if empty, is not necessary here. So close the bracket and enter. The results will spill into the neighboring cells. Product ID, branch ID, and quantity. Now, to return a specific column, in this case, the quantity column, the array argument will be a single column. That is the quantity column. F2 for edit mode and change the array to column C. Enter. The quantity sold for product one has been returned. Now, when I try to copy down, I'll get a spill error because each cell will return multiple results which will be obstructed by the cell below it. Delete. 
Now to make the cell return a single value, you can use any aggregation function. So to get the total quantity, I'll wrap the filter formula in a sum function. Enter and copy down. Now, if I want to count, the count function can be used as well. Enter and copy down. That's basically how it works. Now let's compare this to the related table function in DAX. Quick points to note about the related table function. The syntax requires only one argument, which is a table. That is the related table to retrieve the values. An active relationship must exist between the tables and it retrieves data from the many side to the one side. That is from the sales table to the product table in this example. It also works for a one-to-one -one relationship. Now, related table is a tabular function, so it returns a table of all the records that match your criteria. It can return a scalar value when wrapped in other functions. So to retrieve the sales table in the product table, type related table and select the sales table. Close the bracket and enter. The formula has returned an error. Let's look at the error message refers to multiple columns. Multiple columns cannot be converted to a scalar value. Now this is similar to the spill error from the previous example. So just like the filter function, you need an aggregation function to make related table return a scalar value. That is a single value. You can wrap it in the count rows function to count the number of records relating to each product. Cool. You can also wrap it in the SUMX function. SUMX. The first argument is the table returned by the related table function. The expression is the column to sum, and that is the quantity column in the sales table. And enter. We have successfully pulled data from the many side to one side of the data model. Now to summarize, related and related table use active relationships and lookup value doesn't really require an active relationship to work. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a comment, subscribe and click the like button. I'll see you next time. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.